First team to win the World Cup is the best in the CONCACAF, Mexico versus USA edition. Yes boys, here we have the Mexican national team and the USA national team. And as you guys saw, yes, we have two saves going on. In honor of El Clasico, Mexico versus USA today, I decided to make this video. The rules to this video are simple. We'll be saving World Cup after World Cup with both teams in two different saves. And first team to win the World Cup is the better team in the CONCACAF, simple. And obviously we know um, Mexico are going to be victorious in this video because they're just better. Shout out to all you USA fans, y'all losing today. But I have added a little twist twist to that today. As you can see on the screen here, we have a team full of Mexican young talents and a team full of USA's young talents. So we know as good as both national teams are, there is no way they would win the World Cup in any of these saves. So to help them out a little bit, in each save I have put their best talents into one team. That way every season I could put some development plans on and I could have some youth academy going. That is because even with all the talents the Mexicans have and all the talent the USA have, it's not compared to any other talent the rest of the world do have. So obviously in this game, development plans do supercharge every player. So I'm hoping before 2030 when career mode does end one of these teams will win the world cup and more importantly i'm hoping mexico will win as you guys know i am american but i am a mexico fan in that case i'm expecting mexico to win this video boys if mexico do not win this video i will gladly buy this usa jersey just because they didn't win so mexican talents i hope you guys are enough because this is a lot of money but boys real quick it's time for you to meet the young squads i have set aside don't want to waste too much of your time so i'll go through them quickly macias jimenez diego Linus, sanchez alvarez vega artiaga montes vasquez Sanchez and Acevedo. And here are the rest of the players in the bench and in the reserves. As for the USA team, here is a starting 11 in the club side. Pepe, Daryl Dyke, Reina, Timothy Wa, Pulisic, Winston McKinney, Robinson, Robinson, Richards, Dest, and Stefan. And here are the rest of the players. So I'm going to go ahead and put every single player from both teams in both saves a development plan. Each season, I will change the development plans as well as apply Youth Academy to both teams. But you guys don't have to see all of that. I'll see you guys in the first World Cup. Okay, boys, first up, we have to choose the Mexico squad for the first ever World Cup. Okay, boys, as I scroll through, here is the Mexico squad for the first ever World Cup that is going to take place in Qatar. Some pretty decent names here. Obviously, not all the players that we do have in the club team are here just yet. This is the lineup for the Mexican national team for 2022. Okay, boys, up next, we have to Inside the USA squad for the 2022 World Cup. Okay, boys, as I scroll down, once again, here is the USA squad for the 2022 FIFA World Cup. And like I said earlier, not all the players from the clubs that are in the separate clubs are in the team just yet. And here is the lineup for the USA squad for this World Cup. As well, here is the bench and the reserves. So in the USA save, here is the group for the US. Italy, Denmark, and Wales, I think they can get past this group. As for Mexico, similar type of group, same strength against Italy as well, Ukraine and Scotland. I think Mexico might struggle a little bit more in this world cup okay boys group game number one for mexico away from home against italy it's probably gonna be a loss to be honest they have an amazing side but can the mexicans somehow pull through and it's causing upset and it's going to be a 4-2 loss come on man okay boys the u.s have italy as well for the first game can the u.s pick up a better result and pick up at least a point against italy and it's going to be can the u.s win and it's going to be a 2-0 loss not even a goal for the u.s okay boys second game of the world cup for mexico against Ukraine away from home. It's gonna be a tough game, but I'm hoping they can pick up a victory here. Chucky is looking dangerous on that left-hand side, but let's see, let's quick sim. Come on, Mexico, pick up a result, please. And it's going to be a 1-1 draw. That's pretty decent. Okay, boys, it's time for the US now to face off Denmark. It's gonna be a very tough game, again, away from home. I know it's also in Qatar, but still being on the away side of things gives them a disadvantage. But let's see in this game, I think they could pick up three points here, okay? The Dan Danish side isn't as strong as it should be. They're not playing Kasper Schmeichel and go for some reason, but Let's see in this game, can Pulisic carry his side to a victory? And it's a 3-3 draw. Great fight from the US. Okay, boys, in order for Mexico to make it to the knockout stages, they have to be last place Scotland and need to hope that Italy do pick up a victory against Ukraine, which will probably happen. But boys, they're finally on the home side. They should get a victory. Come on, Raul Jimenez, score a couple goals. You guys should definitely beat Scotland convincingly. And it's going to be a... 4-1 win, let's go the Mexican national team, Orbein with a double, Tecatito and Raul Jimenez with a goal as well. In that case, as you guys can see, the Mexican national team have made it to the round of 16. Okay boys, as for the US, a victory will take them to second place and of course if Italy win, they also pass. So Italy is going to decide both fates today, obviously for Mexico, it already passed. Can the US beat Wales? Okay, they need to beat Wales. Wales is a pretty difficult side. But I think they should get a victory here. Come on. Christian Pulisic, lead your side to victory. Take them to the round of 16. And it's going to be a 3-0 victory. Daryl Dyke, Pulisic, and Pulisic with goals. Okay, boys. We started the World Cup with Mexico. So let's go ahead and decide USA's fates first in the round of 16. Okay, boys. They're against CONCACAF rivals, Canada. It might be an easy draw, but Canada are not a team to mess with anymore. But boys, away from home. Can Pulisic and his men do it? Okay, boys. Let's go ahead and sim. And it's going to be a... 
2-0 victory for the U.S. during the quarterfinals. Okay, boys, as you can see, Mexico are not lucky ah! with their draw. They have gotten one of the best teams in the world in Spain. Boys, I don't think Mexico are getting out of this one, man. But let's go ahead and sim this round of 16 game against Spain. Oh, my God, boys. This team is not ready to play a super team like Spain. But let's go ahead and quick sim. If they somehow win, I'm going I'm to celebrate like crazy. Come on, Mexicanos. Come on, please. And it's a 2-1 victory. No way. He managed a Moreno delivering the goals. Boys, oh, no. Uh, Mexico's kryptonite is always Brazil. In the quarterfinals, the Mexicans have Brazil. But they beat in Spain. If they beat Spain, they could surely beat Brazil. In the home side, there is... I'm sorry, but there is no way they're winning. As much as I love this team in FIFA, they're not going to win. But let's go ahead and sim. Please, Mexicanos, don't let me down. Please somehow get a victory. And it's going to be a... 5-4 win in penalties. There is no way... Dude, there's actually no way, man. We decided Mexico's fate this time first. Now let's move on to the US. But the Mexicans are in the semis. Boys, the USA versus the Netherlands, they've also gotten a tough drop. But I could argue it's not as tough as the Mexicans have had so far. But boys, up against the Dutch, can they win and move on to the semis just like the Mexicans? I don't think they can. I do believe that they're going to lose here today even though they're at home. Let's see this game. Pulisic, can you prove me wrong? And it's going to be a 5-4 win on pins as well. How does this keep happening, man? But the U.S. and the Mexicans are in the semis. Oh my god, boys. It's Mexico versus Mbappe and his goons. No, I think they're out, man. I think they might be out. They're going up against France, man. Oh my god. Can they somehow pull through like they've done the whole tournament? They beat Spain 2-1 away from home. Then they beat Brazil in penalties. There's no way. Hold them to penalties and win in pens again. We're in the semifinals. We have broken the curse already at this point. But please, quick sim. Please, and it's going to be a 1 0 victory. No, 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 no. I, can, I don't, actually don't believe this. I actually I refuse to believe that this is happening. They're in, they're in the final, man. Boys, there's actually no way. The US have gotten such, such an easy team in the semis, but they're away from home, and I'm assuming it's because, yes, it's because of Lewandowski. They're playing Poland in the semifinals. What is this World Cup? Poland and USA in the semifinal, and then Mexico in the final in the other one? Boys, if somehow in the first World Cup, both teams win it, I'm gonna have to do another one, even though both teams already won it. But boys, the question is, can even both teams win it? Can even one team win it? Let's go ahead and find out if the US even make it to the final. But boys, they're all technically away from home. They have a disadvantage. A 92 rated Lewandowski on the other side. But can Pulisic and his man do it one more time to prove me wrong and make it to the final and then eventually win it? Let's sim. There's no way. There's actually no way. There's no way. And it's going to be a... They've lost their penalties. That means if Mexico wins it, the video is over and it proves me true. That the Mexicans are CONCACAF kings. However, shout out to the US for making it this far. Semis is no easy feat, man. Boys, the Mexicans are in the final of the World Cup against their former group, Italy. If, so, if somehow we do this in the first World Cup, that is insane, okay? Because I expected both teams to do bad in the first World Cup. And then probably in the second World Cup, they'd be one of the top teams because of the potential. But boys... It, it's been crazy like shout out to the for real shout out to the u.s in this video made it to the semis and only lost them pens to poland but boys somehow like you literally cannot write this man okay like like you cannot write this it's impossible to just win every single game like using cheats and stuff you can't do it man but boys we have grown this team outside of the national team and also the u.s team it's fair for both sides but they're actually in the final i cannot believe it but boys i truly believe they're not gonna be italy today if they beat Italy, I swear, bro. I really do not want to buy this USA kit. One, because I'm a Mexican fan. And two, it's it's money, bro. And I don't have a lot of money. But, boys, let's sim this game. Mexico versus Italy. The Naruma is not playing. It's a great sight. Come on, let's sim this game. If they somehow win this match, bro, like, I w <laughs> I'm going to lose my shit, man. But let's sim the game. Please, imagine. Just imagine, man. Just imagine. Boys, they've actually done it. They've actually done it. No way. No way, see, bro. <laughs> bro, nobody, nobody's gonna believe me. How have we done it in the first World Cup? I expected to be here for three hours of recording. Going through like the four or five different World Cups we have in FIFA. But they've done it first try and it's my team as well. Boys, I'm so glad I do not have to buy the USA jersey. How, I just don't understand how this FIFA works. This was totally a fluke, man. That was totally a fluke. For both teams, man. For them to reach the semis, both of them, and even one of them to reach the final. Even Mexico getting past Spain in the round 16 was a fluke. But boys, it's confirmed. The Mexicans have won the World Cup. Oh, bro, I'm like standing in my seat right now. How? I do not believe how this has transpired, man. That is how. 
That is absolutely insane. But boys, that is the end of today's video. This is the Mexican side that have won the World Cup somehow, some way in the first year. That isn't the only dub they're taking as later tonight, they will win against the US and qualify for the World Cup. Mark my words, the Mexicans will be US in the El Clasico today. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. This took a lot of effort to make switching through saves, but I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys want to see a similar video like this, maybe a redo because this was kind of a fluke or with two other teams, let me know down below. If you guys did not check out my last video, make sure to check it out. I signed one winner kid every season until Salford City won the Premier League.